Okay guys, we are starting the rally now. I would like to introduce Tarek. He is a third grader who would like to inform people about what is happening currently in Palestine. Please give it up for him. My name is Tarek. I am eight years old and in the third grade. I don't like what is happening in Palestine. I have a friend at my mom's school, Miss S, who is Palestinian and I feel bad for her and her family for what is happening to their country. I will do whatever it takes for peace. I promise I will try to bring peace to Palestine and I hope that Israel will stop this madness. I hope, I think we should have peace for all. Free, free Palestine. Free, free Palestine. Free, free Palestine. Free, free Palestine. If we don't eat at the restaurants or buy things from the places that support this genocide, we can shut them down and stop the support to Israel, which will stop this killing of, in, of innocent children and people. I think the, the Children's Museum should not take money from Textron. Textron is trying to make it look like they are nice, care, nice and care about children, but if they make weapons to kill Palestinian children, then they are giving bad money. Free, free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! Thank you. Next up, we have JV, who is born in here. Textron, Textron, you can't hide. Textron, Textron, you can't hide. We charge you with genocide. We charge you with genocide. All right. Next up, we have JV, who was born and raised in Providence and is a high school student and is part of different youth organizations who would like to talk about Ramadan and how Palestinians continue to demonstrate summit steadfastness as the genocide continues and connection to the police murder of Ryan Gaynor in the U.S. Um, as someone said, my name is JP. That's my nickname. Um, I have sort of a, kind of like a framework of what I want to talk about, but I decided not to write anything up because I felt like whatever I had to say, it was going to reach the most people if it came directly from the heart. So, <laughs> thank you. So, um, as many of you know, we are currently in the month of Ramadan, and unfortunately, during this time of year, um, Israel they increase their attacks on the people of Gaza. They desecrate their their holy areas. They make it impossible for them to worship. It's an overall terrible thing. Despite all of what's being put against them, Palestinians still persevere because Israel may steal their land, but they cannot steal their perseverance. continue to go through with their fast even though they already have limited food supplies because Israelis are limiting um, sorry <laughs> Israelis are limiting the amount of food aid that comes into Gaza Yay! so all this being said I wanted to have you guys like think about this for a little moment because you know Palestinians they're facing all of this hardship and yet they still keep their perseverance they still keep their spirit so whenever you feel like, you know, something you're doing may be worthless, just know that it's not. Very few times in history have singular people changed the course of history. That's right! But, if we work as a collective, 
we can make so much difference. This is how change is achieved. I feel as this is sorry. <laughs> middle school and I knew as soon as I found out that I wanted to leave my life on history one way or another and you know voice my support for the Palestinian people so I'm very glad that I got an opportunity to come here and speak in front of you all today. Thank you! The last point I'd like to make is you know sometimes people they're hesitant to join these causes because their mentality is how does this affect me you know What's in it for me? How does this affect me in my day-to-day -day life? But I'm here to tell you that it absolutely 100% does. That's right. That's right. Many of the police officers in America are trained with the same defense tactics that the IDF uses against Palestinians every single day. <laughs> the violence that happens in Palestine and the violence that happens here in America is 100% completely intertwined. It is not something that can be ignored. also in orange vests today, so if you need to talk to them, you can do that as well. Um, and we have, yeah, two, two wagons with water and snacks at the front and the back of the march. Um, Want to shout out the bands that are here supporting us today, from Undercoat and ERV, thank you so much. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh, there's art, there's still a big pile of art over here that you can grab for when we start marching together. Um, and we're gonna start lining up for our march. So 
that's going to be happening over at this corner. You'll see Sarah with the orange flag waving it. Um, and we're going to ask that anyone with kids, anyone with strollers, anyone with banners, any other kind of wheeled or mobility device, you should get to the front of that march. So as close to Sarah with the orange flag back there as you can. Um, Our old staff is under attack. What do we do?
for genocide. P-Pack, P-Pack, you can't hide. Revolution. There is only one 
Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, Scott. 